Hey guys, welcome to the second video of this Atlas series where we're discovering this uh, this new RM. So in the last video we, we 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 just done installing Atlas and configuring it. So now this is where we left our last time, where we left off last time. So this is like we can this is where we can actually start using Atlas uh, to interact with the database. So in this tutorial, uh, in this video, I'm going to to show you how. Uh, how you can insert and update and delete stuff from the database so this is going to be a very quick video actually it's pretty simple to do this there are two main ways to do this actually the, the one i'm going to show you now is uh, is the pretty simple one so this there's this method that i'm going to show you and you can actually use another thing which is a transaction so let's get started without any further ado so if you head to the documentation you can actually see this writing records it's uh, it's pretty simple to use all it takes is an insert method and function and that's it uh, these are the transaction I'm going to be going over this and maybe in the next video so let's go ahead and start writing some code so to insert into the database you actually need to use this atlas insert method this method if we go to definition you can see that it takes a parameter of record interface so this one takes a record so to get a record we actually need so let's say that we are going to post something into the database so we are going to insert in this post table so in the structure I have a title, a I actually have an ID, which is the primary key. I have a title, a content, a category ID, and a created ad. So let's go ahead and insert a post into the, the post table. So what I need to do is actually call Atlas and get uh, a new record. And this one takes a mapper class. So if I go to the definition of new record, it says it needs a mapper class and what I'm trying to, uh, to, to insert into the database is a post post uh, record so I need to pass the post mapper so post mapper class I actually need to, to pass the, the the namespace with the post mapper so this dot dot class uh, this class is doing that for me so it's passing this as a parameter as a string and that's the only thing I need for now so now for, uh, I need to specify a couple of things in this post so as I said I have a title so let's give this like a first post I have uh, content so let's just sum down the content and I have a category ID, so category ID. I'm gonna give it a category uh, the ID of one. So these are actually, I have in the category table here, I have like four rows, education, health, sport, and lifestyle. These are just for example, uh, for the sake of the example. So I'm passing one, which is the education category. So category ID and uh, I have a created at which takes a date so I'm gonna pass in the date so the year the month and the day hours minutes and seconds now I can go ahead and pass this post record as a parameter to the insert method now this insert method if I go back to definition it returns a boolean so if this inserts uh, to the database successfully it's going to return true if it fails it's going to return false so let's go ahead and actually store this in like a variable so result and let's go ahead and var dump the results so now if I head back here and I try and I refresh the page it says true so if I go ahead now and I check this post yes indeed it, uh, it did insert into the database with no error so if I go ahead and refresh again it's going to return true and 
If I refresh, yes, it did work. So that's how we insert into the database pretty simple. So now let's go ahead and well, actually, I want to show you something. Let's say that uh, all the all the If I head to the structure, okay, you can see that all my fields here are required, so none of them can take a null. So let's say, for example, that I didn't specify the created add date. So let's go ahead and cut that from the code. So now if I go ahead and try to refresh, it's going to return false. So so what I want to show you is that it returned false, it did not insert, but how can I know what did I do, what did I do wrong? So there's this method that you can, uh, that you can use, so atlas get exception will get an exception if there's anything, if there's an exception actually. So this one is going to, get, uh, to give me the exception so kind of give me the error why this, is not, uh, this does not work so if I go ahead now and I refresh the page you can see that I have a PDO exception an object PDO exception now this is the message it says that uh, the column created ad cannot be null so that's the error that's the exception that I am having and uh, there are a couple of methods you can use here so let's say that you want to get the the message only so you can use the get message now go ahead and refresh you can see here that i have the message here so this column cannot be null now if i go ahead push the and put that back in now if i go ahead it's going to give me this get message so it's not actually an error it just says that since this this insert worked uh, worked just fine it did not return any exception so exceptions uh, all the exceptions are actually just null now so calling this get message on a null is is uh, the reason why this this error is here so that's how you insert and that's how you get the error if there's any errors in the ter uh, in uh, uh, while inserting so that's how you insert now kind of move to actually updating uh, from the database now to update from the database you actually uh, to update something in the database you actually need to get the row you are trying to update from the database now i know i didn't show you how to how to get data from the database so i'm just going to be showing you like a really simple way to do it so let's say that we have this row and the, this is how you can get actually let's say that we, we want to to edit this this uh, second this second uh, I actually should have changed this in the, the titles but it doesn't matter so let's say that we want to change this from first post to edit post so actually the first thing we need to do we need to get it out from the database so to do that we need to go atlas fetch record so we can use this fetch record and it takes a mapper class so if I go to definition you can see that it takes a mapper class it takes a mapper class in the ID that we need to get from the database so it takes a primary ID so if I go ahead and pass this post mapper class just like the before we need to pass the the namespace of the mapper class uh, of the mapper so this is the first parameter the second parameter is the the id that we want to get so as i said we are going to get this second post uh, this, uh, the the row with the second uh, the second id so this is how we're gonna get it so if i go ahead now and like check Let's go ahead and fall down this row. So, now if I go ahead and refresh, you can see that I have an object type record. So, this is the second ID, it says first box, and then the content, the category ID is one, and the created ID. So, now that we have this record, we can actually 
well, uh, one thing one thing to notice about this fetch record theme so if the uh, uh, function if if uh, the ID exists in the database it's going to return a record so the second ID exists so it return this record now if I give it some random ID that does not exist it's going to return false so just to note the give you an idea of what happens when in case of exceptions and errors so now I can actually go ahead and let's let's say that we are going to edit the title so I can go and change it from first post to edited post and that's all we need to change for now just for the sake of example so now if I go ahead and call atlas Update and pass in this row. Now this update takes it returns a boolean. It's the same as the insert. So if it's uh, if it succeeds, it's going to return true. If it fails, it's going to return false. So let's go ahead and just work on the result. So if I go ahead and refresh the page, you can say true. Now if I go ahead and refresh. As you can see, it did work. So this edited post was successfully changed. So that's how we edit a post. And the last thing we need to do before we end this video is actually show you how to so how to delete something, which is pretty simple. So I'm not gonna actually delete anything. I'm just gonna get rid of this title changing thing. And the only thing you need to do is change it from update to delete. Now, if I go ahead refresh to return true if I go ahead and refresh this you can see that the second row has disappeared so that's how we delete something using atlas ORM so now if I go uh, let's say that I go ahead and refresh this again I'm gonna get an exception an error so it says that the the argument that was passed to delete must be an instance of atlas record interface and the boolean was given so that's just because this fetch record as i said before returns false if this id does not exist in the database so that's that explains this error so you can handle this different ways i mean you can use a couple of ifs check if this row actually exists or not so that's something up to you that's how you actually insert and an update and delete from the database using Atlas ORM. Now that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to get the data from the database and show you a couple of ways of doing it, you know, using conditions and going over some of um, some of uh, the functions that Atlas ORM offers. So that's it. See you guys in the next video.